Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the seventh experiment on link budgeting, which includes the power budgeting and rice budget. So in this experiment, we are expected to do the simulation of an optical link and identify the values of the link length or the number of components are connected in it so that we can identify whether the link design is correct or not and it will give you the satisfactory performance or not. So to start with, let's see how our optical, what are the components of our optical link. So if we look, we have at the input, we have a connector to connect our source light into the fiber. Then we have a fiber length, which has some attenuation. Again, there, are, there is some attenuation of a signal at the fiber joints. And again, at the receiver end, we have a connector losses. So these are some points of losses with respect to the power. And therefore, to accommodate all these losses in our system, we need to do the power budget. Now, let us see how we will simulate it in the lab view. So if we look at our expression of link budgeting, first let us do for the power budgeting. So for power budgeting, the allowed losses is equal to the power of the transmitter minus the sensitivity of the receiver. And what are the actual losses in your, this is allowed loss. What are the actual losses? It is n into connector losses where n is the number of connector lc is the loss at a connector plus m into losses across the splices so m is the number of uh, splices and ls is the loss across each spice splice plus attenuation in your fiber where alpha is your uh, attenuation per unit length and L is the length of the fiber plus the system margin. So this is a simple two equation that we need to implement. So what we will do is first we will have our select our input terminals. So right click, go to the numeric, select the sliders for input power in milliwatt in dbm sensitivity of detector in dbm then what we need is we need the counters so number of connectors then the next one is loss in a connector next is number of splices and we need loss in splice in db we can add it here also okay now what else we need is the attenuation in the fiber and the length of the fiber attenuation in db per kilometer and link length in kilometer. Okay, so now, and one more thing that now we need is a system margin. So what we will do is, so we have now selected, or uh, now we have all the sliders for having all the inputs. That is sensitivity, receiver, sensitive, uh, the source power, sensitivity of the receiver, number of connectors, the connector loss, number of splices, splice loss, the attenuation in the fiber, the length of the fiber and the system margin. Now, how do we want to see the output is we want to see the output in a form of whether the link is performance is satisfactory or not. So this is a decision that we have to take. So we'll be using an LED. So we'll go to the boolean and select a round LED. We can just click on this and increase the size. We can right click, go to the properties 
and in off condition we can just make the color change so that we understand when it is green the performance is satisfactory red the performance is not satisfactory once we have all the inputs we will go to the block diagram window and make our search so we know what we have to see is the loss in the system is through this equation for this we'll be using a formula board for that go to the math mathematics script formula the number of connectors connector loss number of splices splice loss attenuation the length of the link then last is a system margin now we'll just write this formula here so it is n into l plus m into ls plus alpha into l plus system margin so we have our whole loss calculated we'll just make our connections here as per our names now we have made all our connections on the with the formula board the next thing that we want to find out is the allowed uh, losses so for that we just simply need a subtractor which will have the input power in dbm minus the sensitivity now we know that for satisfactory per, uh, performance of the link the allowed loss should be greater than the actual loss in the link so for this we'll be using our comparator for this we'll be using a comparison greater so you will see two orange at the input and green at the output so the output is always a logical output so has to be given to this now what we will do is if this result allowed is greater than we get a boolean now okay so this completes our block diagram for the power budgeting we can just run it and see so we can just right now we see so we can just increase our input power say we have zero so just setting this k input as this number of connectors the loss in a connector number of splices the loss in the splices attenuation and the link length we just run and continuously run it and see what will be the input power level that will yeah you can see that in for the link to perform properly the input level should be minus 11 or if we further increase sensitivity so sensitivity has to be minus 50 or if we increase the number of connectors and number of loss across so that again changes makes it red showing that it's not working fine similarly we can have the splices and the loss in the splice which will again tell us the limits similarly we can have attenuation or identify for the given values what will be the maximum allowed link length so we can see that we can increase the link length for these condition to 70 
So this is what is the purpose of link budgeting to identify what should be the input power level to accommodate the losses across the various components involved in a link. Now you can add the digital displays as you can see here for the fiber uh, uh, attenuation input power and others so that we have a better control over the values when we are giving it at the input. Now we can also add the two gauges for having a better control over the readings when we are taking is to know the value of the loss of loss across the formula board and system margin across the difference between the sensitivity and the uh, input power so that we have a value comparison also and not only a boolean output. So this will give us a better control over the readings and we, we will be able to take the readings properly whenever for the various conditions that we are setting for our link result. Thank you.